Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest XI. When we last left off, we uh, we beat the pants off of the uh, imposter. Now, we're gonna go talk to the king. Right and proper. now. Hard as it was to swallow. The things I did while under the monster's spell are almost too terrible to contemplate. If not for you, this kingdom, no, this entire world would have been turned to ashes. All would have been lost to Mordigan. Yeah. A true hero stands among us. Adria is eternally in your debt. You are a worthy heir to the legendary Erdwin. Truly, you are the luminary, our light, and our hope. You really did it, huh? Mm -hmm. What's the matter, Veronica? Of a sudden, I'm just glad to be here with all of you. I suppose. <laughs> mm. But where else would you be, you silly thing? You, you're right. I'm being stupid. Sorry. I wonder if this is kind of the past timeline leaking into this. I genuinely wonder if this is a case of Yggdrasil kind of showing people, or showing her. Clockworks. coming from what was it Mordigan said just before he died something about not being the only one who defied the flow of time right but what did he mean <laughs> your highness please you must come quickly it's Erdwin's lantern that'll do it what uh... the balcony upstairs Quickly! Okay. So we're going to go see what's up. Okay. Upstairs. Here. Grab that real quick, because nothing's going to happen till we. Hmm. <laughs> That's ominous. It's like. Look over there. Edwin's lantern. It's falling. 
and it's falling rapidly, it seems. That seems bad. Edwin's lantern has fallen. I fear this bodes ill for us all. Please. I dare make this request of no other luminary. I must ask that you investigate. The great star fell to earth in the celestial sands. They can be seen from the Emerald Coast. That must be your first port of call. That's where we'll go. Sire, I would ask your leave to join this expedition. Hmm. I cannot atone for all that I have done. But perhaps in joining you, I might repay my debt at least in part. Luminary, I will be your sword, your shield, <laughs> your, your unswerving, unswerving companion. companion. Again. He joins your party again. Hendrick is one of my frontliners. Um, so, while we're at it, we are going to poke our noses through the castle just a tiny bit. Uh, primarily because I don't think we're actually going to get a proper chance to do it again. But we have been in here before. Uh, let's see. Yes. Okay. Um. I don't think we need to explore the castle, honestly. Um, we have basically been all over. At one point or another. But let's talk to family. Baby. Of course. And everyone else, but for the most part, we are just going to head out and we are going to go. Deal with all that this entails. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the equipment bag. Oh, good. Uh, so we can actually. Uh, Hendrix got that going. Um, mm. 
the Celestial Scepter. Do I have two? Looks like I've got two. Uh, let's see. I know this isn't terribly interesting, but we're going to... I'll do that off camera, but... Um, I will go through and I will make sure that everybody has appropriate armaments. Um, Hendrick's going to need a lot. Um, the sport pigeons. Nothing we have, nothing they have here is going to be adequate. Uh, so we're just gonna not. Now we'll head on to the ma'am. Oh. I'm gonna say, what on earth could you possibly be looking at? should also be noted that we have new monsters to deal with. And we will be avoiding all of them. Because while we are absolutely leveled high enough to deal with some of the basic ones, like the, the uh, Hammer hoods. I don't entirely trust our chances with the, the dragons. Figure something out. Well, well, dear Luminary. It seems you were in quite the pickle. Eh? Huh? <gasps> but how? Mordigan, you're alive. Hmm. You're seeing me as Mordigan now, you say. How very intriguing. Well, no need to panic. I'm not Mordigan. It's me. The one you people call the Seer. Wait, how can you be the Seer? Oh, anyone can be the Seer, my young friend. Or should I say, Seer can be anyone. Depends on how you look at things, really. Anyway, we can't have you all on edge like this now, can we? One moment. Yeah. <gasps> there. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. I was having a lovely vision of you all riding Satyr.
Tasha to see the watches. Um, what the heck are you talking about? Let's just say that the hallowed tones of the Flute of Legend will carry you to every corner of the land and leave it at that, shall we? That we shall. The what of the what will what? Honey, you're not making any sense. The twins, no. I don't have much time, you know. I wouldn't stand there gawping like that if I were you. I don't know how legendary it is, but we do have a flute. Do you think this could be the one? It is absolutely the one. Well, it's the only one we've got. Can't hurt to give it a go. And here's Cetacea. It's complicated. Well, I'm game if you are. All aboard! We've got a whale to catch and some watches to meet. Big wheel. And going completely on the continual pun that this game loves to engage in. Uh, yes, Cetacea, by the way, is... It, that, that, that's what whales are called. That's the class... Uh, their classification. Cetacea. Uh, that's Battleground. Or, no. So we need the other big floating rock. Here we go. This time, it's more lively. This place is insane. Who builds a town on a rock in the sky? The Watchers. Long ago, all was peace. All was harmony. Yggdrasil blessed us. Faithful servants of World Tree. Hmm. What? <gasps> but shadow fell. Horror from above. Shadow falls again. Perhaps he returns. Perhaps. Kalasmas. Dark one. Hater of life. Bringer of death. Because just when you think that you've beaten the big bad, the bigger, badder bad shows up. As is uh, pretty standard in the Dragon Quest series. That seal lassie was on about then, eh? Mm hmm. It seems they know something of the Dark Star. Come, let us speak with their elder. Okay. Now, if you remember, the last time we were here, this place was in ruins. Uh, well, sort of. And no one was here. 
pet. Do I need to... Ah, okay. We're going in the wrong way. Direction. I don't think this is where we need to be either. No, no, this is where shops are. Actually, that might not be a terrible light. No, no, this is just the end and, and... Let's see. There shouldn't be anything for us to collect here. I think there might be a shine spot or two, but beyond that, uh, I think we should be good. Yeah, okay. Let's head up. It should be noted that I don't think we could go to these places when we were originally here. I don't think any of this functioned. And there he goes back to sleep again. This means we can get into the those uh other doors. Okay. And you. I feel like maybe those are for the twins. And we're gonna go down. And we are going to go to the Temple of Dawn.
Uh, yep, just one. Just this one. I'll take it straight to the middle. Okay. Grab this shining spot. So we already know where one of the seedlings Whoa. is. Did all that light just get squished down into that little thing? It did. He said that before. Again. Guiding light. Flame of Yggdrasil, creator of Erdria. Awakens power. Power of Luminary. Will be useful. Help to find. Find how to beat. Here, Elder. Mm. Oh. Elder. Must awaken power. Power of companions. Oh. Elder walks. Please be. Companions have light. Light of hope. Must kindle, strengthen. Leaves of Yggdrasil, children of world tree, shine forth. I feel like we should help. Very well. To the lands below. Let us seek out these seedlings. Hmm. So we definitively know where one of them is. I don't think... Yeah, I didn't think... Okay. So, like I said, we know where at least one of the seedlings is. I don't know where the other two are. But we do know for certain 
that one of them is at Angrela. Mountain, mountain of discipline of training, Angrela. Yeah, uh, ooh, okay. The others have things to say as well. Laguna del Gondola. Okay, Angrela, uh, the, um, it's far to rust. Okay. So those are the those are our three spots. We know where we need to go, but let's go collect these couple of side quests and maybe grab a couple of things uh, so that we have to stand a better chance of surviving all of this. All right, friend, you have a quest. Okay. Because I don't know Blind Man... To, I mean, to be fair, I did know Blind Man's Biff. And then we went back in time. So everything that I did prior to this is gone? information we didn't actually need, but interesting. Neat world building. We're also going to stop and visit uh, the sh shop. I have a dis the distinct feeling that everything in the shops is going to be better than what we've already Wait. Yeah, we have to go this way first. I have a distinct feeling that stuff in the shop here is going to be better. I'm very confused now. We'll, we'll look into that later. Or daggers, Seraph Staff, Seraph Spear. That would be a great boost. Conquer it. Silver Shield. It wouldn't be a big, it would be a great boost for Serena, and it would be a great boost for Silvando. And I have to get a couple of those. Get a couple of those. Get a couple of those.
Uh, okay. We'll come back. And then we are going this way so we can hit up the save point because I think that's where we're going to call it today. That's where we're going to call it for today. So I have been Darkenoff, this has been Dragon Quest XI, and when we come back next time, we are going to go find the three saplings on land. And if you enjoyed this video, or any of the videos in the series, or in general, consider giving this one a like, consider giving the channel a subscribe, and if you're already subscribed, consider hitting the notification bell so you know when I update. Um, as a reminder, I will be taking about a week off when we are completely done with the series. Uh, so that notification bell will let you know when I, uh, when I come back. Uh, I also have a coffee. You can find me at coffee.com slash dorknut if you are so inclined to leave a tip. Uh, but next time, like I said, we're going to go see the saplings of Victor. So, so come see me again, won't you? Goodbye.